Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Inspire episode. In today's video we are going to continue with the devotional stress-free living. Some of you might say that stress isn't a part of your life and some of you might say that stress is a big part of your life so what is stress to you you can of course see it from the positive side and that is what i'm going to focus on today because i see it as one of those things in life that can be extremely powerful. I'm not saying that stress aren't fear, anxiety. It can be very hard. But to be able to focus on what to do to reduce stress, is very important in the way that you are able to handle stress in one way of seeing it can we really reduce stress so that there is a non-existing thing in, in our lives I don't think so, or I don't know. But you can, depending on how you see the word stress and how you cope with the stress that you are in, handle it in a good or a bad way, you could say. I know that one of those things that makes stress easier to handle or to be able to cope with is my faith. And you could say that um, one of the best ways to handle stress is to talk to someone about it. And in my case, in my everyday life, I pray sometimes, just a few times, or even just morning and night. But sometimes I need to release my burdens up on someone. And when that happens, I know that God is listening and to me that is very comforting. Of course, if stress is a big part of your life, it might be that you need to seek advice from a psychiatrist or something. But I know that God has helped me th through so many things. I know that I've been talking about it before, the power of prayers. But to me, I know that it is true. I have seen it time and time again for me and my family. I hope that you feel confident enough to just for a couple of minutes or even just a tiny little sentence pray if you feel like talking to someone sit down stand up 
be in the middle of a queue or at the supermarket or at your work, even on the toilet. Pray about what you are thinking. I know that that will help you. So yet again, open your conscious just a tiny little bit and try. So I wanted to continue uh, with the decoration in this today and to be honest with you I don't exactly know what I'm going to use this journal for if I want to have it as a prayer journal or if I want to have it as as a sort of creative journal to my Bible journaling. I have no idea. But to me, it is more important just to create. And then the whole thing will, will be revealed throughout the process. So I'm just going to continue Let's see In this case, I feel like I want to have this as a pocket Just as is I don't know if I'm going to use it as a pocket At the end of it all but I feel like, you know, it could be one. I know that I want to have something with this on this particular page. So I just left it like that. I know that I might go like this. Let's see, do I want to have it like this? Just a tiny little thing. Yeah, that might be a good, nice way of having a little pocket on this side. So I will go with that. And as you all know, sometimes I have a project planned and sometimes I don't. And that is totally okay with me. Let's see if we can put some glue on the other side of this. Let's see, where do I want to have it? Just like that. And yet again, you can use it as a pocket if you like. I can, of course, go in here and just decorate it a little bit more. Doing this. Just as I've done on the other pages. A couple of full stitches. Just a tiny little thing. Let's see, do I want to have that one? Let's see, oh, that one has been glued down. Let's see, going further into this. Because I don't know about you, but sometimes 
it feels like you're starting to decorate the journal there's somewhere in the middle of it all you kind of forget about it in a sense I do want to have that part let's see if we can use this for something maybe make a little flappy thing here I don't know let's see yeah, might be using that in that means that I need to cut this one down. To me, creating is relaxing, stress-free time. Literally as stress-free as it can be. So to me, it is very important to have a couple of minutes a day, an hour or so, just to create. And you know, of course, I get much more than that. And I'm so thankful for me being able to. Yet again, if you are not, be thankful for all those small little me time creating time that you get. And if you feel overwhelmed, Think about it for a little bit and try to reach out to our Father and in prayer. Don't want to have that as a journaling card I think I do so I'm going to glue this one down on this blue card that I had laying here so to me creating is a totally stress-free zone and it's it is very crucial to me that it stays that way so I will leave it on that page to have it as a journaling card there and this is the way that I build it up you know I, I, don't, I don't have every answer I don't have any answers to most of the things that I do really but if I feel that I really want to have an answer, the first thing I do is to pray. The very first thing I do is prayer. that one there or like further down so 
so this is how I do it. This is my process. fold it like this might be having this one here I'm not sure but I'm going to leave it like that and then going into the second signature I want to do something with this one here on this page I will leave it like that so as you can see this journal will be an ongoing process throughout this series and I don't know how I'm going to use it I know that I'm going to use it but I'm not stressing over the, f the fact that I don't know. As you all know, I do the Inspire series together with Leticia at Heavenly Gifted today. And I will link her channel down below in the description box. So pop over there and look at the, her part in this collaboration. And I will see you next week. Have a blessed week, everyone. Bye.